An eponym is a person, a place, or thing for whom or for which something is named, or believed to be named. For example, Elizabeth I of England is the eponym of the Elizabethan era. Many genericized trademarks such as aspirin, heroin and thermos are based on their original brand eponyms. The adjectives derived from eponym, which include eponymous and eponymic, similarly refers to being the person or thing after whom something is named. As the eponymous founder of the Ford Motor Company refers to founders being Henry Ford, recent usage, especially in the recorded music industry, also allows eponymous to mean named after its central character or creator. History Time periods have often been named after a ruler or other influential figure. One of the first recorded cases of eponymy occurred in the second millennium BC, when the Assyrians named each year after a high official. In ancient Greece, the eponymous Archon was the highest magistrate in Athens. Archons of Athens served a term of one year which took the name of that particular archon. Later historians provided yet another case of eponymy by referring to the period of 5th century Athens as the age of Pericles after its most influential statesman Pericles. In ancient Rome, one of the two formal ways of indicating a year was to cite the two annual consuls who served in that year. For example, the year we know as 59 BC would have been described as the consulship of Marcus Calpornius Bibulus and Gaius Julius Caesar. Under the empire, the consuls would change as often as every two months but only the two consuls at the beginning of the year would lend their names to that year. During the Christian era, itself eponymous, many royal households used eponymous dating by regnal years. The Roman Catholic Church, however, eventually used the Anno Domini dating scheme based on the birth of Christ on both the general public and royalty. The regnal year standard is still used with respect to statutes and law reports published in some parts of the United Kingdom and in some Commonwealth countries. A statute signed into law in Canada between February 6, 1994 and February 5, 1995 would be dated 43 Elizabeth II, for instance. Government administrations may become referred to eponymously, such as Kennedy's Camelot and the Nixon era. British monarchs have become eponymous throughout the English-speaking world for time periods, fashions, etc. Elizabethan, Georgian, Victorian, and Edwardian are examples of these. Trends Political trends or movements often become eponymous with a government leader. Examples include Jacksonian democracy, Stalinism, Maoism, Obamacare, and Thatcherism. Specific types of incidents in the United States, Columbine, usually prefixed by Puller or Didder, has become eponymous with school shootings due to the Columbine High School Massacre, which was the deadliest school shooting which had ever happened in the United States at the time and heightened awareness to the issue of school violence. Other eponyms In intellectual property law an eponym can refer to a genericized trademark or brand name, a form of metonymy, such as aspirin, heroin and thermos in the United States. In geography, places and towns can also be given an eponymous name through a relationship to an important figure. Peloponnesus, for instance, was said to derive its name from the Greek hero Pelops. In historical times, new towns have often been named after their founders, discoverers, or notable individuals. Examples include Vancouver, British Columbia, named for explorer George Vancouver, and Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Originally called Isbister's Settlement but renamed after Queen Victoria's husband and consort in 1866. In science and technology, discoveries and innovations are often named after the discoverer or a figure influential in their advance. Examples are Avogadro's number, the diesel engine, metanerium, Alzheimer's disease, and the APCA score. For a discussion of the process see Stigler's Law of Eponymy. In art, plays, books, and other forms of entertainment may have eponymous names, such as the ancient Greek epic The Odyssey. Derived from its principal character, Odysseus, the novel Robinson Crusoe, and the television series, I Love Lucy.
The term is also applied to music, usually with regard to record titles, where it is prevalent and leads to confusion. For example, Bad Company's first album was entitled Bad Company and contained a popular song named Bad Company. Parodying this, the band R.E.M. titled 1988 compilation album Eponymous. In tribal antiquity, both in ancient Greece and independently among the Hebrews, tribes often took the name of a legendary leader. The eponym gave apparent meaning to the mysterious names of tribes, and sometimes, as in the sons of Noah, provided a primitive attempt at ethnology as well, in the genealogical relationships of eponymous originators. Lists of eponyms by person's name list of eponyms, list of eponyms, by category orthographic conventions, capitalized versus lowercase because proper nouns are capitalized in English. The usual default for eponyms is to capitalize the eponymous part of a term. The common noun part is not capitalized. For example, in Parkinson disease, Parkinson is capitalized, but disease is not. In addition, the adjectival form, where one exists, is usually lowercase. However, some eponymous adjectives and noun adjuncts are nowadays entered in many dictionaries as lowercase when they have evolved a common status, no longer deriving their meaning from the proper noun origin. For example, Herculean when referring to Hercules himself, but often Herculean when referring to the figurative, generalized extension sense, and quixotic in diesel engine, lowercase only. For any given term, one dictionary may enter only lowercase or only cap, whereas other dictionaries may recognize the capitalized version as a variant, either equally common as, or less common than. The first list is styling. The Chicago Manual of Style, in its section, words derived from proper names, gives some examples of both lowercase and capitalized stylings, including a few terms styled both ways, and says, authors and editors must decide for themselves, but whatever choice is made should be followed consistently throughout a work. For examples, see the comparison table below. Genitive versus attributive English can use either genitive case or attributive position to indicate the adjectival nature of the eponymous part of the term. Thus Parkinson's disease and Parkinson disease are both acceptable. Medical dictionaries have been shifting toward non-possessive styling in recent decades. Thus Parkinson disease is more likely to be used in the latest medical literature than is Parkinson's disease. National varieties of English, American and British English spelling differences can occasionally apply to eponyms. For example, American style would typically be Caesarean section, whereas British style would typically be Caesarean section.